Hey guys, me brought up Chris Tomer with the Saturday morning update. First off, my bullet points, the bullseye, Pacific Northwest BC. You know, we sort of reached our peak as far as big forecast totals. That happened like three or four days ago. Now each day they've been looking a little bit lower. Um, today we've kind of hit that three to four foot sort of a grand total. I'll show you those coming up. Storm system then 2.5 and also 2.8. Both of those will run across the Intermountain West, so they'll take some of that and move it across the Intermountain West, but neither one is going to be a bullseye for the Intermountain West. And then after the 2.8-2.9 storm, there's probably going to be somewhat of a high pressure ridge across the Intermountain West or Four Corners until another storm comes in which hits California around 213. In the northeast, a couple of clippers and maybe a little heavier snow a little further down the road. Um, so let me just show you what this looks like right now on water vapor. So oranges and reds represent the drier air aloft. You can see both storms, the 2.5 and the 2.8 storm lined up over the North Pacific. Um, the initial trajectory will of course be into the Pacific Northwest and BC, and then it will sort of drag south and affect California. Um, the first storm especially will affect California, the 2.5 one. And the second one may kind of go up and around um, and it may even be a little bit smaller than the first storm. And then, like I said, maybe a high pressure will come in after that second one for the Intermountain West. Um, so I did write about that this morning, actually, on my blog, uh, chrystomer.com. Take a look at it. Two storm systems through 213. And by the way, Mount Baker reporting 9 inches overnight. And I'm forecasting another 40 inches by 28. So that's, you know, 3 to 4 feet, still hefty amount. Um, there's your forecast pattern. Let me take that full right here. Now this is 213, so you can almost see the ridging over the Intermountain West. Um, next trough or area of low pressure hitting the West Coast, that's the one on 213 that will have to pass through the West Coast and then eventually will move into the Intermountain West, but it's going to take some time. So there's going to be some dry pockets and dry days mixed into this pattern, no, no question. All right, so back to the blog here. I also looked at forecast timing. Let me take this full. Um, and so here it is. This is the forecast radar and satellite. Here we are on Sunday morning. Storm system coming out of California with great snow for the Sierra. There's Monday morning into the Intermountain West and then it's gone. Waiting on the next storm. Here it comes a little further north and not quite as much juice, but still some snow for the Intermountain West. There's Thursday 2-9 and then it's out of here. And then there's this pocket of dry air with this high pressure ridging. Um, late 2, 9, 10, uh, probably 11 and 12 for the four corners and Intermountain waiting on that eventual storm system that will hit California. All right, let's go back and take a look at some of the numbers here. We'll do this in phases. Here's all of today through 2, 6. Um, generally a, uh, kind of a foot there across the Sierra. And uh, the numbers through uh, the Tetons and the Wasatch, anywhere from essentially 4 to 8 inches. I was hoping for some bigger numbers, but uh, about a foot up there in the Pacific Northwest. Um, and that's on top of what we've already seen, so we're continuing to add numbers to the Pacific Northwest. In Colorado, the 3 to 6 will probably do it for this first storm on uh, 5 and 6. And here's the second uh, phase. This is um, going to be 7 through 13. Notice a little further north with the track brings another 1 to 2 feet into the Pacific Northwest. And another 3 to 8, potentially Tetons, Wasatch, another four to uh, 3 to 6 in Colorado. So, you know, again, two storms that will influence the grand totals in two different time frames over this uh, this nine-day period. A couple specialty maps. Here's the Pacific Northwest, a grand total map, basically all of today through the 13th. So we had nine overnight, and on Baker, we'll add another 40 to that. Um, Whistler will add uh, another two, a little over two feet, same at Stevens, and potentially another three to four feet in Rainier. You can see the numbers, the blow-off snow into a Revelstoke and Red Mountain actually looking pretty good. All right, one more specialty. So here's Colorado. All of today through the 13th, I-70 and north is pretty well, 6 to 12 inches again. That's two storms, though. One, five, six, and another one, eight, nine. So you're looking at storm totals of two storms right there in Colorado. And our final stop in the northeast. So again, a couple of clippers with light accumulation, and then potentially the bigger numbers here occurring at the very end of the period, 12-13, with potentially a little stronger storm sort of running up the coast. Um, that's a long way out there. Obviously, there's a lot of uncertainty with that, but you can see the potentials there. Maybe a little heavier snow late in the period. All right, guys, always appreciate you tuning in here on this uh, Saturday. Take care and have a great weekend.